is apparently cold as outside. So I gotta dress warmly. I will be back in one moment. It is by far one of the coldest days we've had yet this winter. I'm not wearing lots of red and green uh, due to Christmas, although it is kind of Christmassy. I'm wearing this outfit so far purely for functionality. Outfit of the day. My diesel jeans. These out and about too often anymore. Uh, except for at work because I have a small rip here and I'm always I'm always scared that it's going to get bigger and I'm going to be embarrassed. But I bought two pairs of jeans a couple months ago without even during the strike so it was in October and I wasn't even thinking they're ultra skinny jeans I love them but you can't wear but you can't wear long johns under them there's no room so I have my long johns on today as sexy as they are I have my long sleeve t-shirt I have another shirt and my hoodie the key is you have to go outside and it's minus 20 you have to dress in layers or you'll wish you had them. You can always take something off when you get to where you're going. But if you don't have enough clothes, you can't invent them on the spot. I've got my Silence of the Lambs hat, my toque. I usually wear it down so it flops back and I look all stylish and shit. Not today. It's the thickest toque I have. And the thicker the toque, the warmer your head stays. 90% of your body heat leaves through your feet and your head. So you have to have a nice thick toque to help keep that heat in. Y'all in Florida watching this, you're probably wondering what it's like to be minus 20. You have no, it, it is. So minus 20 would be zero degrees is 32 degrees Fahrenheit so it would be about my math is really bad but I'm gonna say about 10 degrees give or take Fahrenheit it is cold outside um correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below though I want to know what would minus 20 Celsius be in Fahrenheit I'm thinking it's about 30 or 10 to 12 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know though. My math really sucks. Let me know please. I'm curious to know this. Oh, I need socks. I need socks. Socks. These are a nice heavy wool sock. Um, actually, I don't even know if they're wool. They're not like the wool socks that we used to wear on the farm, but they're nice and heavy. I'm only wearing one pair, and hopefully that's enough with my winter boots. Um, because I've never liked wearing two pairs of socks in my boots simply because your feet, when you first put them on, it feels a little awkward and tight like your foot's like don't have toe wiggle room and shit. But you do what you gotta do. I think my boots would be warm enough as it is with just one pair. I don't plan on being out as very long, only to the store and back. So let's hope that this works. If not, I'll let you know. Again, I could be hating myself in a few minutes because once I'm out there, I can't invent socks. So, bear with me. So I just missed the bus. Which sucks because it is bitter cold out here. However, I had not planned on taking the bus, so... It's not that bad, I guess, because I was prepared for it. As I was getting ready to leave, I just looked at the bus half quickly to see when it was coming. And it's been like four minutes. So I threw my scarf and everything in my bag and ran just in case I could make it right. I don't have to go that far, but it's far enough. It is frigid out here. I will be at the store very soon, so I will check back in with you once I get there. So I kind of made a wee little bit of a mistake. You see, as I was doing my tutorial on how to dress warmly, 
I casually looked at my, my phone to see when the bus was coming. Not that I had originally planned on taking the bus. However, I saw that it was coming at like four minutes. So I bust my ass to get there. I missed the bus, of course, but I, fin I forgot to finish getting dressed for you guys and telling you how to dress warmly. So maybe part two will come at a later date. I got something very exciting happening later on today. <coughs> Excuse me. I will video it and show you guys and bring you along step by step. It's not something I normally do, so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but I'm excited to show you guys. So stay tuned. Keep watching. Ah, that was very Christmassy. One cup of sugar. Two cups of butter. You have to touch the stick of butter with your hands and make your hands all greasy. Warning. Next it says, cream, butter, and sugar together till fluffy. I had a cat named Fluffy. But for that, I'm going to use this. I don't think the butter was soft enough, so I'm just going to let it chill for a minute and come back. Stay tuned. Woo. I don't think it was working out with the beater right now, so I'm just going to use my fork to fluff it. I don't really know if I'm doing this right, but we're going to find out. Oh, maybe. So. I got this all fluffy. It's kind of tasty too. Add two tablespoons, but because my tablespoon is in my coffee jug, uh, when I make coffee with, I'm gonna add four half tablespoons because two halves make a one. Four halves make two. That's math lessons. Quick maths. Now. I'm going to set this aside for now in case I need it. I have a feeling I will. Right back. I have a feeling that what I was doing might be wrong or not working as good as I'd like. So I'm gonna get my hands in there. First I'm gonna wash my hands, and then I'm gonna mix it all up with my hands. Once upon a time not long ago I was a hoe. And I'm admitting it, and I'm taking it back because it's the shit. So I'm gonna do one, bah! I'm gonna do one batch first, because I don't know how this is gonna work out. Yeah, I'm gonna wash my hands again too. I've never made sugar cookies before, so I don't know the consistency it's supposed to be in the bowl. I think maybe I should add a little bit more butter or something. I don't know. But I will make a batch. Just one. And go up from there. 